If you've ever lost a soccer game or had a bad performance during a football match, this video is for you. I want to let you guys know that I had an absolute shocker last night. Our team lost, we got humiliated, I played poorly, I felt slow, out of shape, sloppy, and it was really humbling. And for most people, that situation would be discouraging. The biggest message, the biggest idea I want you to take from this video is when you lose, when you play badly, it has to make you better. Every time I lose, every time I have a bad game, it actually makes me better. Why? Because it motivates me. Most people, when they have a bad match, most players, when they have a bad match, they get discouraged. They say, screw this. They give up, they cheat on their nutrition, they be lazy for a couple days, they start blaming other people, they make excuses, they lose their momentum. When you lose, when you have a bad performance, the opposite thing has to happen. It has to encourage you to train harder, to analyze why you played poorly and what you need to change in order to do better next time. So every time I have a bad performance, I use it as motivation. I think about why was it a bad performance? What did I do wrong? Yesterday, my training wasn't good during the week. If I'm honest with myself, my training was poor and when I was on the pitch, I felt slow. I wasn't sharp with my movement. I wasn't direct with my play. I was hesitant on the ball. I felt slow, I felt heavy, I felt overweight, I felt out of shape, okay? And my standards for myself may be higher than you. But whenever you have a bad performance, I want you to stop and analyze. Don't just get upset. Don't just feel sorry for yourself. Actually analyze why did you play poorly? What do you need to work on throughout the week in order to make the next game better? And be excited, be motivated, get a little angry, get a little pissed off. Hold yourself to a higher standard. So every time you have a bad performance, I want you to look at it like this is going to make me better. This was a good thing. I needed this. I needed this slap in the face to tell me that I'm not as good as I think that I am, to tell me that I need to keep getting better. So every time you have a bad game, if you need to come back and watch this video, get a little motivation, I want you to get motivated. I want you to stop and think about why it was a bad game or why your team lost or why you didn't play play well on that day and what you need to change. Okay, it's one thing to say, yeah, my shooting sucked or I felt out of shape or I felt slow. But if you're not gonna do anything about it throughout the week to change that, then it's just gonna happen again and again. So think about those negative emotions. How did it feel to be humiliated? How did it feel when ev everyone else ran past you, when you gave the ball away, when you missed chances? How did that feel? Do you want that feeling to happen again? Well, if you continue with your same habits, if you continue with your same style of training or your same lifestyle that you had this week, it's going to happen again. So you need to make changes to your training, changes to the way that you play, the way that you approach the game, the way that you think, the way that you fuel yourself, the food that you put into your body, the way that you recover and take care of yourself. You need to make changes to these things in order to change the result that you get on the pitch. So I'm gonna stop rambling right now, but every time you lose, please make a commitment that, hey, this loss, this bad performance, this was a good thing for me. Why? Because it's going to make me better. I'm getting motivated and I'm gonna learn from this failure, learn from this mistake, and it's going to serve me in the future. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this valuable, please remember to like, share on social media, subscribe if you haven't, check out my website, progressivesoccertraining.com.